Welcome to a Now Explain Rough Cut video. This video is part of our manual bookkeeping series. You can find related videos on our YouTube channel or search the internet for a Now Explain Rough Cut. So now, let's get explaining. Sales Invoice Daybook, what it is and why we need this daybook. This is all about manual bookkeeping. There's no computers here. This is pen and paper bookkeeping. So using the day books, the, the, which are also called the books of original entry, also known as first entry or prime entry day books. We are collecting information from the source documents in these day books. What is a day book? A day book is a list of your transactions, invoices, payments written down in sequence in a book. In days of old, this was done daily. Each day sales are written into a book. So we get the term day book. So some related day books. We can also have a sales credit note day book and a bank receipts day book related to the sales invoice day book. So similar and related terms used. Customers, debtors, accounts receivable. They're interchangeable. Receipts, money in, lodgement, electronic fund transfers, payments. They're all linked to customers. This is a day book that could be imagined by you. But what a modern day book looks like now. So we use big red books. Often these modern day books are referred to as big red books. Why big red books? Because some of these red books can be very big. Why are they big? Depending on how many columns you need, the more columns, the bigger the book. Maybe this big. This book has 30 analysis columns. The columns will be very narrow. So here we are inside an empty sales invoice day book. And here's an example of a sales invoice day book for VAT analysis only. So let's see how this sales invoice is recorded in our sales invoice day book. Here is where our sales details are recorded. Here's the sales invoice with the daybook entry side by side. You can see the information taken from the sales invoice. So there's the customer, the invoice number, the total value of the invoice. So let's have an explanation of the sales invoice daybook columns. So the date, this is the date of the sales invoice. The customer, the name of the customer who the items were sold to. Invoice number, the index number given to the invoice so it can be tracked. Yes, all these items should be on a sales invoice. Explanation of sales invoice paper columns, the next three ones, total, VAT and net. So total, the total value of this invoice that the customer is due to pay, including VAT. VAT. The amount of VAT contained in the total value of the sales invoice. VAT stands for value added tax. Net. The value of the items before any VAT is charged. Yes, you should have this information on your sales invoice. Explanation of sales invoice table columns totaling the columns. Yes, each column that contains values must be totaled. By totaling each column, this allows us to see what the total sales are for the day, the week or the month. In this example, we are seeing the monthly sales figure. This sales invoice day book lists the five sales invoices for the month of January. Why can't we just have a total column? Because the total of the VAT column will be used in the calculation of your VAT return. The total of the net column is your sales turnover how much you sold for the month of January. VAT and net are needed for you and your business. And that's how you set up a sales invoice daybook and why the sales invoice daybook is set up as shown using these columns. Date, customer, invoice number, total, VAT, net. This is the basic sales invoice daybook layout. We did no detailed analysis of VAT or sales. More columns can be added to provide more analysis, such as an analysis of what items were sold. Watch out for our video on sales invoice daybook with analysis.
Thank you for watching.